Erica with Rosy Research and today we're going to make some fun light up cards. Now these cards you can download, they come as just a single 8.5 by 11 sheet that looks like this and you'll cut it to make two cards and you can print those off on our Mini Makers activities page. So there's a lot of fun free activities that you can get and download and print there. And this has the template for how to wire up your card so it lights up. Now when I look at my template, I see that there is an LED that has two legs, and I've got my battery, and then I've got some things of copper tape. And you'll notice there's two colors of copper tape, and that's because we're going to lay down two layers. That just helps the connections of the copper tape a little bit. So when you're using the copper tape, you want to measure out how much you're going to need, about this much, and you're going to peel it. Take some fingernails here to peel the copper tape. And once we peel that off, I'm going to lay it down on this first layer, which is yellow. And so I'll lay down my copper tape right there. And that goes from the short leg of my LED to a switch. In fact, now that I think about it, let's talk about what we need. So we need a battery. This is a 2032 battery. You can buy it at the grocery store for a few dollars. You can buy them online. It's like 20 bucks to get 100 of them, which is what I suggest because these are really fun to do and you can use them in tons of LED projects. You'll need like a little switch. You'll need some sort of LED, whatever color you want. Uh, these are five millimeter LEDs, so they're a little bit bigger. Smaller ones work really well in these LED cards. So if you have a three millimeter LED, that's actually preferable. You'll need the copper tape. Um, and then other things I have on hand are conductive paint, which I made, so you can check our other video out for that, and some masking tape and scissors, just in case I need them. All right, so I'm going to lay down my first layer of copper tape, which is the sort of the brighter yellow. So I've got two pieces, really, for that. And that goes from the short leg of the LED to the switch, and then the switch to the battery. So you'll notice there's a basically a gap in my circuit from the short leg to the battery and when I press the switch down it's going to connect these two pieces of tape and then when it's, the switch is open it'll be off and that will save your battery. So then I'm going to put a piece of copper tape here and I want to create like a little pad for my battery to sit on so I'm going to do that by just folding my tape back and putting it forward. Just like this, and I can do that again Oops. to make a nice little pad for that battery to sit on. And I'm going to press everything down nice and hard with my nails. So that is my first thing that I got to do. Now I need to add in my circuit components. One of the components is the battery, which is going to just sit like this. The letters are going to face up, so the battery has a polarity, that means it has a positive side and a negative side. And if you look at the battery, there's going to be the writing on it, and it has a little plus sign. We want the plus sign facing up, so the writing will face up towards us. I have my switch, which I'm going to put right here on top of the little switch spot. And then I have my LED, and just like batteries, LEDs have a polarity. So if you look at it really closely, if we'll go top down here, there's two lengths to the legs. I have a shorter leg here and a longer leg there. The longer leg is always positive and the shorter leg is always negative. So I need to make sure this goes to the right sides of the battery. So on your little circuit diagram, it says short leg goes this way towards the switch and the long leg goes this way towards the battery. So I'm going to bend the legs of my LED to sort of make them line up here, like this. Just like that. Alrighty. And I'm going to tape my short leg down with a piece of tape here. And the tape can be a little tricky to get started, but you just, hopefully you have somebody who's working with you that's got some nails and that really helps. So I'm going to put that down, and again I'm going to use my nail to really press nice and hard. I'm going to go from the switch, I'm going to connect the switch in with some tape. So I'll put one piece on top, 
of the switch and one piece below and we just want to make it actually have good connection with the pieces that we've already laid down because those pieces should be all we need to make this circuit light up. Alright, and so I'll take the other part of my switch down like this. And now I've got to get my long leg attached to my battery. And the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to tape it straight on top of the battery. So I'll take a piece of tape and it's going to go just along that leg and onto the battery. I'll tape it straight onto the battery. So let's see. Just like that. And then I'm going to scrunch the tape sort of around the leg so I can make sure I have good contact with that leg. And you can do that. You could tape it down if you wanted to like this. That would work just fine. And when I press my button, you'll notice it does kind of work sometimes depending on which way my switch is. Sometimes these switches can be a little finicky. Um, but that's okay. So I know it works. Once I see it work, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do once it works is I'm going to tape some of my pieces down. Now I'm going to use just plain masking tape or scotch tape. And that's because masking tape is paper. Scotch tape is plastic and those are not conductors. So now that I know my circuit is working, I'm going to tape it some things in place and that just makes it a little bit more like a stronger kind of a thing. If your circuit's not working, if you don't see it light up at all, there are a couple of things you could try. The first thing is to test your battery, maybe with another LED. Does your battery light up the other LED? Another thing to try is, is your LED in the right direction? So if you were to flip your battery over, does it work? And then sometimes the switches that you get, you know, we got these in packs of, I think, 100. And, um, you know, some of them are kind of duddy. So it sort of depends what you got. Um, but if you can get it to light up some of the time, that's perfect. That's all we really need. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use some, actually, we should do the conductive paint before. So let's do that first. So I'm going to take my conductive paint now and I'm going to paint all of the joints. Now this paint, there's another video on how to make this paint. All it is is a mix of, mix of graphite and glue. So not too much to it. You don't want to eat it, but other than that it's non-toxic. So I'm going to paint sort of where the LED and this tape, the long leg and this tape meet. I'm going to take where any tape joints are, so here's like where a piece of tape ends. So I'm going to paint right there. I'm going to get paint on that switch to get a good, better connection on that switch. And the more sort of circuity components that you add, like this switch, the harder your circuit is going to be in terms of making it work perfectly. Because these parts, these this switch really wants to be soldered in with liquid molten metal. So only using copper tape doesn't, doesn't usually get as good of a connection as you want. But we can always try. So now it's lighting up every time I touch it. You'll notice it's not lighting up as much, it's not as bright, and that's because my conductive paint is still wet. So once it dries, it's gonna get brighter, which is perfect. So now that I have done all of my conductive paint, I'm going to take this and I'm going to start taping things in. So I don't want my battery to move around and this copper tape isn't going to hold it in place really well. So I'm just going to take a piece of masking tape and stick it on top and tape it down. So that guy's going to be in place. I'm going to do the same thing for my LEDs for the legs. So I can tape it this all down like this. You can add tape over that switch if you want to. And now I have sort of this card that will light up for me when I press the button. Now, I probably don't want to give this to somebody like this because it's sort of this weird looking circuit. It's got glue on it, it's got tape on it. So the question is, how do we make it look pretty? Well, that's what this other parts of these paper are for. So you have two dollar lines that you can fold on. And you're basically gonna fold over to here and when you fold it over, you're going to now have a little button on the side that you can press. And when you press that button, 
your light's going to go on. So then you fold this piece over like this, and you have this sort of nice card. So it can open up. You can do your writing here. You can draw something really fun right here. If you want, there's a hole right here that you can poke out, and that hole should match up with where your LED is, so your LED would sort of come through that paper. And then when you're done, I would suggest either putting like double stick tape on this side underneath, or hot glue works really well, so that you really can't see that circuit. Um, and then, now you have a light up card, and you can decorate it, so you can write your message here, you can decorate this part, you can decorate this part, and they just make really fun activities are a simple circuit. You get to learn about switches, you get to learn about LEDs, about how to make a circuit, how to troubleshoot a circuit, and you also get to do some art, which is really fun. So we have some other light up LED projects on our Mini Makers page. So if you had fun with this one, I would encourage you to go check out our other projects that we have going on. And I hope that you subscribe to our channel so you can see all the fun stuff as it comes out. Thanks so much for joining us today, and I hope it works out great for you.